Today we have AT100 Intake Blast Intake System Cleaner. So AT claims to improve engine performance, restores horsepower and efficiency, removes carbon and deposits from intake valves, ports and manifold. So today we have a direct injection engine, also known as a GDI. We're going to introduce this into the fuel system and we're going to see if it can clean intake valves. Now, you guys are going to see there's a lot of carbon buildup on these valves. Probably the worst you've ever seen. So this is a perfect example. If it can work on this vehicle, it can also work on others. So without further delay, let's go ahead and get in with our test. Our first step is going to be to remove any cover in front of the air filter. So we'll go ahead and undo this. You want to make sure any cleaner you spray is past your mass airflow sensor. Let's go ahead, use our borescope camera, and go inside this engine. I'm ready to see just how bad these valves really are. And here we are at the first valve. As you can see, there's a lot of carbon buildup. Now let's go ahead and move on to the second intake valve. As you can see, this second intake valve has just as much carbon buildup. Let's go ahead and move on to the third valve. The third valve, just as much carbon deposits. Let's move on to the fourth valve. As you can see, there's a lot of work cut out for this cleaner. Can it actually work? Make sure you guys drop a comment below, let me know if you think it's actually going to work. And if not, recommend a cleaner that you think will actually work. And subscribe to the channel. Comment below. Let me know what you want to see next. And your video idea will come to life in one of our future videos. Next step, you want to raise your throttle up to about 2,000 to 2,500 RPMs. Make sure you don't exceed 3,000 RPMs. Now with this intake cleaner, you can use it with the vacuum line or you can just spray it into the throttle. So we're just going to spray it into the throttle, like I said, spray past the mass airflow sensor.
Are we seeing exhaust smoke? Not quite yet. Drop your RPMs right back down to normal idle. Then, once you've allowed it to run at idle for a few seconds, go ahead and turn your engine off and allow it to heat soak for one hour. Install everything in the reverse order in which you had taken it out. Well, it's time to take our borescope camera, go back inside the engine. We just finished our highway drive for 10 minutes. So, time to see what these intake valves look like. Well, you think it made a difference? Well, we're about to find out. Here we are at the first intake valve. Well, what do you guys think? Let's go ahead, move on to the second intake valve. This valve still has quite a bit of carbon buildup, but as you can see, there's definitely some reduction. I can actually see some of the valve, so that is pretty shocking. Let's move on to the third valve. Well, I can actually see some of this valve as well. Definitely surprised there. Let's go ahead, move on to the fourth valve. Here we are at the fourth valve. Guys, can you actually believe it? Wow, I can see most of the valve. Very impressive for once. Well guys, make sure to let me know what you think in the comments below. And be sure to suggest your video idea. And thank you for watching Nate's Interactive Auto. Until next time, get ready to get wrenching for the next upcoming video. Thank you for watching.